Hey YouTube, uh, this is Wheelchair21, and, uh, this is coming at you for a, uh, DVD Spotlight. Our first one was Ultraman, the complete series, and, well, I can thought of doing this as a daily thing, and that every day I'll upload, um, a certain, I'll uh, upload at least one review, or my outlook on a DVD, mostly pertaining to Kaiju Iga, and a few other like anime movies and live action movies. Uh, one of the main things is that I'm not taking requests on any of these really. And also, um, some of them might not be in a DVD case, they just, cause I have them all in a carrier. So let me get with, on with the first one and I'm gonna be like recording them in a marathon so as you'll see, it's gonna be like the same me on a different day. Technically you'll see. I'm in this shirt, and then you'll see, like, the next week is, like, all the same shirts. So, our first DVD is Godzilla Raids Again. It was the Toho Collector's Editions, where the box would be a silver cover. The whole thing would be, like, silver, but in the main center, it would have the original movie poster. Um, Godzilla Raids Again came out in 1955, and it was technically just one of those sequels that Toho had to put into production. Uh, the movie starred in its kaiju-wise... Uh, Godzilla and Anguirus fighting each other with an all, well, not an all-star cast of Japanese actors, but it was just a few that would end up re-appearing in the Godzilla line, um, as other stars, other actor, as other stars within the movies, um, the movie's just based on that, it's a year after the first Godzilla attack, and these two, these two, uh, Pilots that help out a fishing crew uh, discover that there's two new monsters, one already being another Godzilla, and another being one that they don't know yet until they bring them to uh, the doctor, the scientific department of Japan, and they're trying to make sure that Tokyo does not get destroyed, well this time it's Osaka, Osaka gets destroyed, Godzilla kills Angelus, and then they end up freezing Godzilla by collapsing a mountainside on top of him up in the Arctic. Uh, the movie is great, but the fight scenes were still new because they were not really used to uh, suitmation fighting. And plus, back then, the suits were very heavy, so the fights were a bit one-sided, so they kind of sped up the frame of the actual fight to make it look more violent than it already was. It also marked, like, the second time Godzilla used his uh, nuclear breath, but he only used it once or at least more more than once than the last time in the movie. Um, the movie's special features are um, commentary, uh, how suit actors worked back then, and original posters. Um, the movie itself, I enjoyed. I It was the last movie that I needed to see out of my collection, so I'm glad I finally got it on DVD. A friend of mine actually bootlegged it for me right before this uh, DVD collection came out, the uh, Toho Collection editions, the Toho Master Collection. Now I finally looked at the disc to see what I was screwing up. Um, in my opinion, it's just a pure entertainment movie. You might get bored by it because it's old and, old and not as new as these other Godzilla movies, but the classics are something you need to look at because ever since um, the Showa era ended, they really did not they just remade certain monsters for the Heisei era, and there were some new monsters, mostly new, for the Heisei era, and then the, and then, yeah, and then, for the uh, Millennium era, we had technically no new monsters except for, um, a new ver uh, new thing called Origa, Megagurus, and Monster X, which would become a King Ghidorah. So, it's pretty funny that Throughout the whole Godzilla series, monsters just keep reappearing, keep coming back to life, and I personally enjoy that. It's just that it's an homage, I think, and that it's a tribute to the people that created it. Um, other than that, I, I just gotta say, it's, um, it's a very nice movie. It's not one of the best Godzilla movies, but it's worth watching. I mean, it's a cheap DVD to buy. They're about $14 in your local FYE 
16 if you go to go to Best Buy, and Walmart doesn't even carry them, n unless it's on their site, which I have not checked. But me, I mostly get mine in an FYE, because they actually have sometimes, like every, like around October, it's like, buy one sci-fi or horror movie, get the other one half off, or buy two, get one free. Um, so, it comes in handy. So, I'm glad I got that, and, uh, all I gotta say is, um, just watch the movie, it's even on Netflix, so you can just watch it. So, whatever, they got the first two Godzilla movies right there in front of you, watch them. And you'll enjoy them, most likely, if you watch the first one. So, and that'll also get you addicted, most likely, but that's another story. Um, and I just think they're great. It's a great movie. The fight is meh, but the final climax, the uh, the end-all be-all, where they finally get rid of Godzilla is probably one of my favorite scenes, because anytime you have suits and snow, or at least fake snow, you always know it's going to be a pretty fun and entertaining um, battle. So this was a DVD spotlight on Godzilla Raids again, and I'll see you later, YouTube.